Hot Topics Part 2. Rich, Rachel, and Joseph are back with me now. Hello, friends. Hello. Hello. So, Joseph brought this up. Was this at Rachel's house? It was. Okay, so Rachel <laughs> recently threw a party. Called, it was a tinned fish party. And now let me explain. This is tinned fish. It's having a real moment on social media. It's not just Rachel. <laughs> I mean, I'm here for it, Rachel. Here, here it is. is the picture of your tinned fish party. So oh my cute. God, no. <laughs> there was a lot. I think there were maybe over, I mean, Joseph, correct me if I'm wrong, like over 20 tins of fish. Oh, yeah, we, were, like, we were like, every, any, anyone coming, bring at least one tin, and everyone, of course, over delivered. And brought different kinds. Did they have, to, yeah, I was gonna say, was it all sardines? Because I no. have uh, lightly smoked mussels here. Yes, all different kinds. Octopus, I think we had maybe one. Mm -hmm. I think there was like a scallop, a smoked scallop. There was. Tons of different types of sardines and tons of anchovies, too. And I think mm -hmm. anchovy is like the most common mm -hmm. tinned uh. fish that I've seen. But also, I will say, I, I feel like I'm only a partial uh, this was this was my first time attending a tinned fish party and I will just say I am a millennial that consumes TikTok content in the form of Instagram reels Same. so this viral food trend is always already like a couple months in the past okay at this well point. it's new to us <laughs> great and it was a super fun way to get a bunch of people together I love uh, that yeah and to eat eat this fun trending food that has been around and is very accessible and affordable for the most part which uh, Yes, that's okay. This is the this is the subtext of that text is that it is affordable because we are at a point right now where, you know, we we can't afford stuff. Yes. So this is a great way. Oh I'm sorry. I I am not going to eat this. I I already don't <laughs> love seafood. But um, you know what? I'm, I'm doing it. Uh, oh my God! Right here. Yeah, why not? I, I was like, are we really gonna all open these in the studio? Because then it's gonna smell. I've got Amity, sardines. This just, this just means that Amity, we need to find the tin fish that is meant for you. Okay, you That's know what? Right for that me? is neutral enough that it like tastes, you get to have the experience. Has anyone ever had a can of tuna fish? It tastes exactly like that. Okay. So okay. if you can do a can of tuna fish, I think you can do sardines. Okay. And well, I know. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was just gonna say I know that Rich is a very big fan of the tinned octopus oh. that is called pulpo that you can find around, and I think he he I even gave him a tin of it for his birthday oh, one wow. year. Wow, that it's, sounds it's, like it would be expensive though. It was a little heftier in price, maybe pricier. like thirteen bucks, but you know you can then you can really enjoy it. What do you think, Rich? I, oh, oh, I love a, I love pulpo. I love a, a bougie tin fish, just like I love a bougie <laughs> popsicle, and <laughs> I have recently fallen victim. Uh, to the marketing of Fish Wife, and, uh, which also offers a bunch of tin fish uh, options. Uh -huh. And um, and yeah, I like the albacore tuna more than I like the salmon from Fish Wife. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, it's incredible stuff, but also uh, kind of pricey, you know, mm -hmm. between $12 and, and $14 for yeah. a can. Yeah, well, okay. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. well from, from, from tin fish to fast food, uh, which is kind of the same thing, it is fast food. Raising Cane's, uh, the, the fried chicken restaurant, Fried Chicken Fingers yeah. announced they are planning to open a store in Seattle. People lost their minds. People lost. I've never had Raising Kings. I haven't either. I haven't either. So I'm, I will be there to try. Yeah. Um, see what it's all about. But are there any other fast food chains that you would like to see come to Seattle? Absolutely, yes. Okay, well, what are they? I have two. Rich? <laughs> well, I've got two uh, as well. I would pull, um, as, a, as a Kansas City native, I would love to see a Gates barbecue uh, somewhere around okay. here. Okay. And uh, as someone who visited Texas often, I would also uh, yearn for a, a Whataburger. Not just oh. for the Whataburger burgers, but also the cinnamon rolls, which are very good Ooh. at 1 a.m. in the morning okay. if you're a late night. Why were you up at 1 a.m. eating cinnamon rolls, Rich? Uh, <laughs> who could up say? to no good. I was, up to no, uh, nothing good yeah. happens after midnight, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jojo. Um, definitely two. Kava, have you heard of this? It's like Mediterranean Chipotle. Delicious. No, but I'm here for I'm that. So sad we don't have one. <gasps> and then, but my number one is Flower Child. It's the most delicious, like healthy fast food. And I basically Where message. Where is this? They have it like in the Southwest, like Phoenix, Denver. I always okay. get it every time I go. But I've like messaged them every year since like 2017, saying when is it coming to <laughs> Seattle? So please open one here. It's my plea to them. I hear that. I'd like an <laughs> what in and out, but I mean, that's out. my answer as a yeah. as a Southern California girly. I just who's lived in. In Washington for a very long time. Yeah. Every time I go home to visit my folks, it's like the first thing I do. Too. Airport. It's either after the airport you go to In and Out or I go to like my favorite like family run taco shop that yeah. I like grew oh, up going yes. to. It's one of those two, but like and I know people have feelings about In and Out up here. You know, compare it to Dick's, which is also a, a no great foreign institution. But yes, I agree with you. If There's you're no eating I In and Out, Dick's Burger for the different you can't reasons compare. that I love In and Out. <laughs> They're different.
A Cali burger is like an In N Out burger. Like they yes. tried to steal that jam. Yes, oh, I feel like that's the closest that I've had up here. Ditto. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, speaking of fast food, Dunkin' Donuts is introducing spiked coffee. Oh boy. <laughs> I am. I actually am 100% here for this. I'm just disappointed. Are you? Dunkin' did not <laughs> deliver this to us. I don't know if it's out yet, but I'm like, who needs this? Somebody who wants to have a heart attack? And I'm <laughs> all for, you know, it's like Four loco Mixing caffeine and booze, we learned that that was not a good idea. Yeah. I just think alcohol's fun, but not everything has to have alcohol. I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you who needs it, and that's bloggers. If you uh. need to be a little <laughs> bit more charming than your normal self <laughs> and have the, uh, you know, energy yes. to be up late night doing blogs, you're gonna need a Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> with you know, spikes with Everclear or vodka, wherever they got them. Oh, so that, that's at least one use case. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I, Think I of the bloggers. Think I don't know if I'm here for it, Rich. I like totally get like where you, like you're typing away into yeah. you know the mm -hmm. the, yeah. the zero hours of, of the night, but like I want to lean into the bougie quality of booze with coffee and, and like make an espresso tonic yes. type situation. Yes. And that goes with Agreed. the tin fish. Agreed. You can have that with this. I think we're gonna <laughs> with the tin fish. Um, well, I guess you will not be having your spiked Dunkin' Donuts drink <laughs> on the icon of the seas oh from boy. Royal Caribbean. This Check this out. Oh, no. This boat. No, oh, no. my gosh. No. Too big. Does this look like uh, a disaster film ready to happen yes. or what? Wait, <laughs> no. they're not a sponsor, are they? It no, looks they're like not. A good... <laughs> it's just a Looks, go ahead, Rich. Oh, it just looks like a good arena for two billionaires <laughs> to fight one another. Uh. You know? <laughs> Elon and Marg take note. You know what? What if norovirus happens on that? Then 10,000 people have all that. And we then can it's put just, all the billionaires oh. on the cruise ship, <laughs> and they can fight it out there. Too, too, I'm too surprised big. this is only 1,100 feet long. Is that correct? <laughs> 316 feet longer than the Titanic. I love that we made that comparison because, mm. Mm, yeah. Um, and 20 decks, maximum capacity of 10,000 people. That's, that's a lot. Including, that is like a building floating on on the water. It's yeah. like being in a small town, like with everyone that's you know all of the time. <laughs> oh, you're God. stuck with each other. Yes. And you can't escape. Mm. You can and go on the water slide together. <laughs> Well, make sure make sure you bring your tinned fish while you go. Hey, y'all, thank you so much for joining us today, Rich and Rachel. Uh, it's been a pleasure chatting with you. Thanks for having us. Absolutely.